There's your problem, lady. The magnetron tube's got a fractured magnet. Here today working on a microwave. It's an inverter microwave. And I'll zoom in on there so you can read the, uh, the part or the model. It's Panasonic NN-SN744S. And uh, it's got the word inverter on it. And what that means is the, uh, the power supply is uh, driven by solid state circuitry instead of uh, deriving the high voltage from a transformer. And usually when I see the word inverter, I avoid it in a product because it's going to, it means it's going to be kind of fragile. And I found it to be the case in, uh, my, in welding equipment. Uh, I've got welders from the, from the early 80s that still work great, have never given me a problem. They're the old transformer-based design. And the newer welders that I've used, the inverters, they're, they're fragile, especially when you're working in an environment outside or something like that. Transients can affect it. Uh, the circuitry is fragile and prone to failure. And so that's what I'm expecting is the case with this. Of course, there are benefits. Like this, this microwave is super lightweight. It's like a featherweight. It almost feels like you're just lifting a cardboard box. It's so light. But um, I'm going to open it up and, and check it out. I'm thinking uh, I'm probably not going to repair it, but if I see something that looks obvious, I might go ahead and change out a part or something like that if it looks obvious and uh, I think I can uh, find a part but otherwise I'm thinking I might use this case as a uh, welding rod storage or or a storage for adhesives or something I can add a little light bulb in here to make this warm this area warm and that'll drive out the humidity and I can keep this out in my shop and it'll keep the uh, Whatever I put in there, it'll keep it from uh, going bad on me as quickly. And I, I can also just use the power cord that it came with. It's super heavy duty, uh, just for driving like a four watt LED light bulb or something. Just something to generate a little bit of heat. So the first thing I want to do is open this up and see what's going on with it. When well, I'll show you right now. I'm going to plug it in, and uh, it gives me a code right away. Let's see if I can. Uh, So I got it plugged in. So I got it plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and ask it to microwave something for one minute and 11 seconds. I'll hit the start. It kicks on just briefly. I see the light come on, but then it gives me an H97 code. I'm going to go to power level one and see what happens. Same code. Okay, so it's uh, got an issue. And uh, I'm going to open it up. Of course, I'm going to unplug it first. And I've noticed that uh, the case is secured by a couple of different kinds of fasteners. In the rear, they've got these uh, tamper-proof Torx fasteners, which you run into every now and then. It's, uh, I'll show you what that looks like if you haven't seen one before. So the microwave's held together with a variety of different fasteners. They've got some tamper-proof Torx fasteners here and just regular Phillips here. I don't know if someone's been in it before and, or whatever. But anyway, I'll show you. Um, I've got a set of Torx tamper-proof bits. And I'll zoom in on one and you can see what I'm talking about here. It's a regular Torx bit, but it's got a pin right in the center. Let me see if I can get a little closer. And so you have to have a special set of bits to do that. And I do. I've got these uh, set of Torx bits and they've got a hole right in the center, you can see. And so they will allow the... Uh, Torx bit to go right in there. So I'm going to zip those off and get inside the thing and see what's up, what's going on here. I, 
I just use a, a drill driver. So there's a few Torx bits, and then here on the top, there's this one's a Phillips here. Then there's a Phillips over here on the side. here. See there's been uh, some uh, vapors coming up through the screen here. I'll show you uh, where that's coming from. Right up in here. So just gonna take a quick look at this and see if I can see if there's any issues. You know, I'm not sure, but it looks to me like this magnet here fractured and opened up. It's uh, I believe that might be a problem with it. This uh, you can see it's it's spreading open and uh, I believe the magnet cracked on it and maybe that caused an issue it looks like it's kind of burnt right here too but yeah right here's another another crack on the microwave uh, or on this magnet the, the upper magnet seems to be intact but the lower magnet has fractured and opened up and I'm not sure if that's the problem but I wouldn't be surprised if it if it didn't uh, cause a problem with it. I know they didn't uh, intend it to be broken open like that. So anyway, there's your problem lady. The magnetron tube's got a fractured magnet.